Okay, today's lesson is how to get the lattice back onto the spindle. So what I have is a paintbrush, which is going to be our spindle, and some cedar, which is going to be our lattice. Now I've already broken a couple of drills trying to get this done, but what I do is I taper down the point of the drill, because you want the brad to bite the bottom of the hole. So the bottom of the hole has to be tighter than the top of the hole. So this is the larger chuck. I'm going to be sending you a smaller chuck with a drill in it, but I just doinked it off, so I'm going to have to make another one. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your, your, your drill and drill right through your Right through the lattice, but don't go all the way down. You want to stop pretty much where the end of the flutes of the drill are. So you can take your brad and try to see how it fits. That's a little tight, so you can go a little more. And you'll get a, a feel for how deep you want to go with your drill. Because snug would be perfect, but it doesn't have to be perfectly snug. I mean, that's a little loose. Not bad, though. Okay, so you take it over here and you figure, okay, this is a spindle. I'm going to put it about there. And you can just give it a little doink so you know where it's going to be. And then you're going to take your drill and you don't want to force it. You want to let it walk. If it starts to bend all over the place, there's too much pressure. But it will go. It goes slowly. And about halfway down, you want to pull that out and clear the chips because the chips will get stuck in the flutes of the drill. And it'll actually break the drill. And then we we'll go down a little farther. You'll feel it, how far it wants to walk. It'll, it'll walk. When drilling anything, even steel, metal, anything, when you're drilling, when you put the right pressure on it, that drill will make a nice chip that flows. It, it talks to you. So now that you've got your brad through the lattice, and you've got your first hole drilled, you're going to line the hole up with your drill, with your, with your lattice, and see how far you are. And as you can see, that slid in almost where you want to be. And that's just, I mean, that's the cat's ass right there. It's a little bit loose, but it's okay. Okay, so now what you want to do is you take your drill. You're going to put two of them in. So you find another place where you want to put another one in. You. And you drill down until you get your, you know, you're deep enough so you have your, So you have your hole into your hardwood. This is the fourth video I've done. I think maybe, hopefully, I'll get this one done right. <coughs> we went in too hard with the with the brad. That's not supposed to do that. We we wanted that to come out, but we can still pull it out. Now that you've got your second hole eyeballed in, you got to drill that. And again, you'll get a feel for how deep you have to go. Generally, into the flutes is, is pretty safe. If you go past the flutes, you're going to go too deep, and you won't get that bite you want. You get your first brad back in, and you get your second one in the hole. And you can line them up by eye or by feel. It should fall right in. And as you can see, the
first one's tight, second one's tight. And there you have it. Nothing's broken, nothing's cracked. It's snug, but it can come out. Best place to have your nail is stuck in the hardwood. But this is the first nail that we put in and pulled back out. So it's already, that hole is already grown. But again, the correlation between the depth of the taper into the hole, obviously the deeper the taper goes, the nail was, is going to wobble around. As some folks say like a prick in a, hot, in a top hat. We don't want that. We want it to be nice and snug. Now when those shelf was put together, I'm sure it was put together while the wood was still green because everything was just nailed together and you can't nail hardwood together once it's dry, but when it's green you can nail it all together. And re as you can remember, those nails were square and you don't drill holes with square nails, you just drive them in. And you can play around with the nail holes that are in there, <clears throat> but this is just makes things easier. It, it may be more difficult to find uh, places that there aren't holes already in the wood that you're going to have to be able to move around to get your holes in. But uh, there's nothing you can mess up that you can't fix. Uh, that's what they make tooth toothpicks for. If you have a problem, you tap the toothpick in, break it off, and you can actually drill right into the toothpick and make your next hole. Um, so I'm going to make you up another drill. I'm going to send you get you a couple of drills, some nails, send you down some some test wood. And you really want to play around with it a little bit first so you get the feel of, 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 you know, what you can do and how you should go. And that shelf should be really tight right now, and this is going to draw it together nice. So even if it's not perfect, Steve, it's, you know, it's a hell of a lot better than it was. So I'm going to do this video, and then I'm going to give you a call, and you'll be able to see it on YouTube. So I'll talk to you soon.